Hey my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl Morgan Tracy J. Actually coming today from my office. I think this is my actual first real video I've recorded in my office. It's not nowhere near together guys, okay? But it's gonna come together very soon. So today's message is actually one of the biggest questions I ever get. I get this in my DMs, I get this on my website. Morgan, how did you build your ministry? And how did you build this blog? How did you make this thing what it is today, okay? I'm gonna give you my five keys on how I did this, but before I do that, I wanna tell you, I actually have a monthly membership with over 15 master classes and two live calls with me a month inside my monthly membership. So if you're interested in that and you don't wanna go on this journey alone and you wanna get all the tools up close and personal, then click the link in the description box because I know it'll bless you, boo. So the very first key, boo, is you gotta have a core message. A core message is the message is the reason why you do what you do. A core message is what you're gonna speak about. It's gonna be like your niche. It's gonna be that thing that shows up in every piece of content that you do, slightly in the background, right? So I wanna tell you, if you go look at all my videos, even like old videos from like 2015, you're gonna hear these similar messages that I speak today. Now today it's a little more defined, but you're gonna hear me talk about fearlessness. You're gonna hear me talk about embracing the natural you. You're gonna hear hear me talking about being bold and trusting God. These similar sounds are gonna show up in every video that I create. And so I wanna tell you, when you find your core message, that is gonna help you know what you're gonna talk about. That's gonna help you know what you're gonna even create and what you're creating for, okay? So find your core message because that's gonna tie you to your why why you do what you do. And for me personally, when I realized my why, it helped me create everything I create today because I know I'm creating to set God's daughters free. Every content that I do from my magazine to my YouTube videos to my vlogs, everything is created to set you free, boo. So when you know your core message, you know your why, then you're ready for step number two. And step number two is where you pick one social platform and you focus on that only. I know this is scary because we have all these people on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok. We have all these people, right? But I wanna tell you, when you're starting off, you wanna pick one social platform because when you do that, boo, guess what happens? You get to put all your energy into that and you get to grow that, you get to learn that platform and you get to build your audience there. Have you noticed that sometimes you can go to many different social platforms and you'll see the people all around the same link? Like if she has Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, they're all around the same numbers because she doesn't have the luxury to put all her energy into one of those versus if she would have put all her energy into TikTok or all her energy into YouTube like I did then guess what that one is going to soar more because that's what she put her energy into okay so I will tell you that I know a company that focused all their energy into Pinterest and Pinterest is what gets them most of their leads and everything now they have social media as in Instagram and Facebook but they put a lot of energy into Pinterest first that truly helped them grow so if you do that, boo, you're gonna realize that that's really gonna help you grow because you're putting all your energy into one social platform. I did this with YouTube and that's why YouTube has the biggest audience. But also, I use that audience to trickle into my ministry and to trickle into my other social platforms now. But at the beginning, I didn't always do that. Tip number three is to get an incentive to your audience. This means that you wanna create a free resource that aligns to your core message. If you go to my website right now, hisartistscloset.com slash freebies, you will see I have many pages of free resources. These are really because I have a ministry and I believe I should have free content for my audience, but also this helps women get pulled into my ministry and get served right off the back. They don't have to wonder if they're going to ever get a good resource. They get it right off the back and this is what's going to help you build your blog, build your ministry, and build that thing you're doing. Because when you give them a free resource that's aligned to your core message and they love it, they're going to keep coming back for more because you're going to create similar content to that over and over again. So for example, I have a free resource called finding your secret place but then I got another free resource called commanding your morning right these kind of align together to help inspire women I have another free resource called step up talking to you to step up into your purpose right see these are aligned and so women keep coming back because they're being served over and over again so you want to have an incentive that aligns to your core message that really serves your audience the fourth thing you want to have if you're creating a ministry or a blog is you want to have a program a program is what many nonprofits have like I have have, and these are things where you give back okay so I have a give back that I do every year it is my prom
from Dress Your Drive. I created this even before I even had a nonprofit. A program is a way that you give back to people in need and it's connected to your why. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna start brainstorming programs and ways that you can give back and the thing that God's been putting on your heart to give back to someone in need. See, God had given me the prom dress drive idea years and years prior before I even ever had a nonprofit. And so I didn't even wait to get a nonprofit. I started doing the program a year or two before I even had the nonprofit, okay? And so that right there shows you that you wanna have to start already operating in that vision that God has given you. You don't wanna wait to have everything set up and everything perfect, then do it. You wanna trust God for the unbelievable. You wanna trust God for the impossible. So start thinking of ways that you can give back to others in need and what God has been putting on your heart to have programs. And this is the final key, and this is something we hear all the time, but I gotta give it to you straight, sis. You've got to be consistent for at least six months. Now, I'm not saying you can't take a random one week off, but if one week turns into one month, you're not consistent, sis. So what I will tell you is if you do this for six months straight, six months for one video a week or one piece of content a week and you promote that thing and you market that thing, I wanna tell you, you will eventually see traction. But many times, is right when we begin to get the momentum, something happens in our life or it's not quite going the way we want it to go and we stop. And so I will tell you, this is something God told me. I created my monthly membership in 2020 and the Lord told me, give it six months. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, when the six month mark hit, it really hadn't done a lot. It really wasn't improved that much. And the Lord said, give it another six months. And I wanna tell you by that next six months, the membership had doubled the income. Like it was just amazing. Women's ministries were being built. People were flourishing, okay? I remember being like, oh my gosh, God, I'm so glad I didn't just give up at the three month mark when nothing was happening. I didn't give up at the one month mark. I didn't give up at the four month mark or even when the six month came, I still didn't give up. So I wanna tell you, give it six months and when the six month mark hits, if things are still not working for you, go back to the drawing board with God and see what God has to say about it. Because if I would've stopped at the six months, we wouldn't have made it to almost two years now with over 241 women in the membership and so many ministries birthed, okay? So I wanna tell you that, that is a big challenge. Stick with it for six months and come hell, high waters, come challenges, keep going. Because I wanna tell you, if God is in it, it will flourish. And so those are my five tips to you, boo. But I will say, if you want more, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below. I have over 15 master classes inside my monthly membership that help you build a thriving online ministry, boo. And I have so many ladies in there, a, fa a private Facebook group with accountability and just to encourage you on your journey. So if you're interested, all you just click the link in the description box and we ready to go, okay? I'm ready to pour into you. Also join us because we have a live monthly clarity and confidence call where I get to really pour into your vision and pour into you individually and that is such a blessing to so many other ladies. So if you're interested, click the link in the description box and I will see you in our next Women's Wednesday.